and Laura Crossley from the University of Southampton, co-funded by Wessex Walsh, are doing a PhD. Um, I'm using paleoecological reconstruction techniques to reconstruct the past 300 years of Cool Harbour to look at how nutrient loading has affected um, ecological responses within Cool Harbour due to land use changes. Um, I've worked with businesses in the past doing research, so I wanted more experience and um, examples from other people and there's quite a lot of industrial people coming here and in the future might like to go into industry doing research so it's quite a good chance to look at what we can do. <laughs> so my research is co-funded by Wessex Water so they plan on using my research in the catchment initiative plan for Port Harbour so hopefully they'll be using my results to put into policy and management um, in the area. I'm not sure whether it's a challenge or a fear, but <laughs> whether um, the results that I get from um, my PhD will actually be what they're expecting, or whether they're expecting this magical number to appear and I actually don't give them a number, I give them something else in return. <laughs> Um, it was quite interesting to see that businesses that you wouldn't necessarily think have this huge like sustainability or climate impact and actually conscious of it are actually doing things that you don't realise that they're doing and it's quite nice to see how there's job opportunities in those that aren't necessarily research based but you can actually use your skills within industry.